has battled for the leadership of the 10th National Assembly hit up with barely 60 days to the expiration of the present 9th Assembly. A coalition of civil society organizations has called on the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, to allow members of the 10th Assembly to select their preferred candidate for the Senate presidency and speaker seat in the House without external interference or the initial zoning arrangement to allow for independence of the legislature. They made a call at a press conference this Wednesday in Abuja. Clever News' Gloria Atta has the details. Recently, Nigeria's political atmosphere was thrown into confusion after the National Working Committee of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC released a statement announcing its zoning arrangement for the four presiding offices of the National Assembly. The South-South Geopolitical Zone, the party said, had been chosen to produce the next Senate President, the Northwest Deputy Senate President, Speaker Northwest and Deputy Speaker to the Southeast. It further announced that its picks for Senate President and Speaker were a Kwaibom Senator Godswi Lakpabio and a member representing Kaduna State, Abbas Tajuddin respectively, sparking reactions from many members of the House. In the wake of rising tensions heating up the polity, a coalition of civil society organizations in partnership with the Center for Grassroots Development and Crime Prevention has condemned the zoning arrangement of the ruling APC. Speaking at a press conference this Wednesday in Abuja, the convener of the group, Professor Dosu Malomo, and other members of the group said the 10th Assembly leadership elections is crucial in cementing Nigeria's democracy and legislative independence, and this should be conducted in a free, fair, and transparent environment. The current and incoming administration should show to the world that it will promote the evolution of power by promoting independence of the various arms of government by not only meddling in the leadership selection of the tent assembly. We believe that a peaceful, credible, and inclusive tent assembly leadership elections will enhance the legitimacy and effectiveness of legislature and foster national unity and stability. The next administration is going to be full of Democrats. No, no, me, neither the president-elect nor the vice president-elect was a military officer at one time or the other. These people are Democrats from the word go. So they should promote democracy. Democracy is our baby which we must not kill. I would like the National Working Committee of the APC or any other body that are willing to see that they change the system, they should adapt this policy, which I call it the three C's. The first thing to consider is that the person you are going to go for or you want to give an opportunity to contest for the speakership, he should have these three C's. One, he should be competent. Secondly, he should have the vast experience. When we say somebody is competent, the experience must be there. And the second thing is it should be of good character. Let's for, forget about our differences, irrespective of our tribe, irrespective of our religion. Let's move this country forward by allowing the members of the National Assembly and the Senate to go for the right candidates. The states, the state houses of assembly, it lacks creativity because of this kind of impositions. And we cannot have afford it at the nation, at the national level. We need the National Assembly that have creativity and that have that can think on its own. The politics of the National Assembly must be bipartisan, in fact, multi-partisan. And then, when we know that the ruling APC will produce the presiding officers, it must be done in such a way that every party, the entire National Assembly, is carried along. The Center for Grassroots Development and Crime Prevention, an apolitical civil society organization, was established to promote democratic engagement, human rights, and civic engagement in Nigeria.